Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all wonderful. I want to share with you something from the Torah portion this week where we learn about the way that the Bnei Yisrael, the Jewish people, were traveling during the 40 years that they were in the desert. See, they had these miraculous clouds, and the clouds were signaling to them where to go and when to go. So if the cloud would pick up and start moving, the Jewish people knew to follow the cloud wherever it was going to lead them, and then when the cloud stopped moving, they knew to stop and settle and unpack and set up camp. But the Torah designates a tremendous amount of time and focus on these in these verses on how this traveling took place and it goes into great detail sometimes they would travel to one place and the cloud they would settle for one day and then the cloud would pick up and they would move and then they would travel to another place and the cloud would settle and they would stay there for a long period of time months or even a year and then it would pick up and they would travel again the Torah could have just simply said the Jewish people travel in the desert according to this miraculous cloud why the details so the commentaries point out that it was a, it, it's really a praise for the Jewish people and is teaching us a deep lesson for life. You see, sometimes what would happen is they would arrive in a place and they would get to this place and it would be beautiful with maybe tranquil waters and streams flowing through and shade and it was a wonderful place and they were excited and they would say, wow, maybe we'll get to stay here for a long time. And they would settle and they would unpack and everything would be great until all of a sudden the cloud would pick up and start moving. And that was a signal to them, get up, let's go, we have to continue on this journey. And then another time, other times they would come to a place that was hot and arid and, and truly inhospitable for the Jewish people to camp there in massive numbers. And the cloud would stop. And they would be, no, no, please keep going, keep going, stop. And then they would have to camp there and maybe even for a week or a month or a year extended period of time. And the Torah says over and over again that the Jewish people traveled al pi Hashem according to God's will. They traveled wherever He led them, they went. And it was a way of praising the Jewish people for this act of spiritual greatness, of trusting and following in Hashem. And I think the lesson for us is profound. In our lives, we sometimes think that we're leading the way, that we're in control, that we're guiding our own path. And to a certain degree, of course, that's true because we have free will and we make choices that are real and meaningful. But on a deeper level, we also have to know that we are being led and we are being guided and we are being directed in our lives. And sometimes we have to have the humility and the spiritual awareness to say, Al pi Hashem Yisovi, Al pi Hashem Yachanu, that according to Hashem's will, we're traveling. And when it's Hashem's will, we'll stop and we'll rest and we'll go on to the journey in the next place. Life is a journey and we don't know where it's leading and we don't know where it's going, but we knew, do know that we are being led and guided by the world's greatest tour guide. That's Hashem and He's leading us and He's directing us, each and every one of us, to the place of our own ultimate fulfillment and our own destiny. So we have to understand that. And even when it's hard and even when it's difficult and we want to move on past a certain time in our lives, we have to realize this is Hashem's way of teaching us something. We're supposed to learn from this experience. We're supposed to grow from this experience. And that is the profound lesson that we learned in this week's Parsha from the clouds, these miraculous clouds that led us and guided us in our lives. May we be open, may our eyes be open to seeing Hashem's hand leading us and guiding us lovingly, each and every one of us in our own journey of life. And wishing you all a wonderful Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem.